Oh, oh, Maruna Kabak make English? Oh, Maruna, yeah. Oh, Maruna. What can I hear? Is that funny? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's In case you don't know, the official language of the Philippines is Filipino. The co official language is actually English. Now, if it were up to me, I would have every country make English the official language. Not that I would want to abolish the other languages. I just think it would be better if we were all on the same page. It would help tear down barriers and help people unite. I would make a deal. If the United States would convert to using the metric system, the rest of the world could convert to making English their primary language. Now, there would be some growing pains at first, but I think in the long run, it would just help tear down those divides and we'd just make it so much easier to unite with other people. But that's just my opinion. Hello. Mekana on membership. For 80 pesos per session, or only eight or 900 pesos per month. This is a pretty good gym. It's got everything you need. We got some pretty decent dumbbells here. They got a squat rack and a chin up bar. Two very important things. This is a good gym for the price. It's got everything you need. Doesn't have air conditioning, but it's got good barbells, good dumbbells. Has a squat rack, chin up bar, benches. It's got everything you need to build muscle. If you can't build a good body from this equipment, well then, you're just not doing something right. They even have a happy hour promo. Better than going to happy hour at a bar. Even though I'm a heavy guy, over 200 pounds, regular chin-ups are too easy for me. So I hold a 25 pound plate in between my legs and then I pump them out like this. That's how you do it. This is Gold's Gym, and it's a great gym, but it's gonna be more expensive, of course, than most other places. In fact, it could be more expensive than a Gold's in the United States, but if you're coming to the Philippines for a vacation and you're a member of Gold's in the United States, just get a travel pass, and they'll honor it, and you're good to go. Well, thank you, bye. You know, a lot of guys, they wanna to come to the Philippines and drink beer and get drunk, but some guys, like me, want to go and work out when they travel somewhere. And where should you work out in the Philippines? Well, if you go to a province or a small area, you might not have any options. There might not be anything. In Metro Manila, there's definitely lots of places. They have lots of gyms. Now, some are very cheap, but inadequ inadequate. But you might get lucky and find some hidden gems that are cheap and also will give you what you need. And of course, there's also the big franchise commercial gyms. Now the drawback to those is though, they're a lot more expensive, could be more expensive than the equivalent of that in the United States. And a lot of these places, if you're gonna be in the Philippines a long time, they do that thing where they have the joining membership where you have to pay a bunch of money just to like a startup fee. And that's what I really hate about the fitness industry. It seems like a lot of the fitness industry is more about just almost scamming people just trying to make money more than it is about helping people be fit and healthy. I could have been decapitated on these low-hanging electrical wires. Look how dangerous that is, especially for tall guys like me. At least there's a beautiful sunset today. As much as I like going to the gym and pumping some heavy iron, sometimes it's good to do some unconventional workouts. Here we go. <laughs> it's great to work on your body, but we also gotta work on our minds and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing my language exercises, always trying to advance, but I'm having problems with a couple words. What are those words that I'm having problems with? Nanguna. 
Nang unga. How's that? Good. What was the other one? Numite. 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 Uh, that's can that can do. That's one of the good things about Filipino. If you have problems pronouncing a word and it's easier for you to pronounce an English word, you can just substitute the English word and no one will fault you for it. It's perfectly fine and acceptable. Para sa akin, nag-e-enjoy ako sa workout at pagpapatalas ng aking isipan.